Hello, welcome to Nursing with Professor B. My name is Bridget. I have a master's degree in nursing education, and I'm also a family nurse practitioner. In today's video, I will be discussing the best way to sterilize an N95 mask. So if you want to learn more, make sure that you stay tuned. But first, make sure you hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe, and make sure you turn on that notification bell. Let's go. This is a peer-reviewed scientific study, and what this basically means is S Sally Sue and Joe Schmo from the corner didn't decide to make a YouTube video and post it, and now it's gone viral and everybody believes it, but there's no scientific evidence to back it up. So the American Chemical Society publishes peer-reviewed studies, which means researchers, credible researchers, conducted a study other people in the profession analyzed it and verified the study and said, you know what, the results of this study are actually valid and true. So this is where I am getting my information from. And this is really how it should be. We should not listen to just any Joe Schmo off the street and take it for, you know, oh, Joe Schmo said this, it must be true just because it's on the internet. In this study, it talks about N95 masks. It talks about the the findings of it. In this video, I will be discussing the best way to sterilize an N95 mask. This is what an N95 mask looks like. There are different variations. This video is not about how to disinfect surgical masks. This is from the study I showed you earlier. This is their findings. So a brand new mask that has, that has never been used has a filtration efficiency of 96%. 0.52%, give or take 1.37%. What that means is that in 96% of the situations when encountered with an airborne particle, it will filter it out. So this is the best, right? And then based on what we do to it, how we clean it, we will see that the efficiency of it will decline. This study found was that when we immersed the mask in alcohol and then air dried it, the filtration efficiency, its effectiveness was reduced to 56%. That means you have a 50-50 chance basically of whether I may get COVID or I may not get COVID, right? So probably the worst thing that you could do to your mask is immerse in alcohol, so do not do this. The next worst thing was a, a spraying it lightly with chlorine and then letting it air dry. They did this for the treatment time was five minutes and then they just let it air dry. And the filtration efficiency was then reduced to 73%. So both of these methods significantly break down the mask. So do not do it. The best, the top three best ways were dry heat, steam, and ultraviolet radiation. But the average Joe does not have ultraviolet, an ultraviolet radiation machine just hanging out at home. So what can you do? Well, the best method that they found, and keep in mind, this is me just educating you. This is me not telling you to do this. I take no responsibility for your actions. <laughs> this is just education purposes only. But I will tell you if you do decide to do this. So dry heat was the best method of disinfecting. They found that heating at 75 degrees Celsius, which is around 167 degrees Fahrenheit, for 30 minutes disinfected the mask and maintained its filtration efficiency at 96.67% and this allowed the fabric to be treated 50 times without the loss of filtration efficiency. And don't worry, I will go over what is dry heat and blah 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 blah. Well, steaming it at a, so putting a beaker of boiling water, so in your case since you don't have a beaker at home, you can boil some water and water boils at around 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And the treatment time was 10 minutes and the filtration efficiency was maintained by 95%. So what this means is these are going to be your best two bets for at home. Now, a single steam treatment maintains its filtration, but after five steam treatments, there's a sharp decline in efficiency. I, if you're going to steam your mask, I would say only do it max four times because after that, at the fifth time, there's your efficiency has really gone down. What is dry heat? So can you stick your mask in a normal oven? No, I wouldn't recommend this. 
A hot air oven is a type of dry heat sterilization, and dry heat sterilization is used on equipment that can't be wet or on material that won't melt, catch fire, or change form when exposed to high temperatures. Examples of items that aren't stabilized in a hot air oven are surgical dressings, rubber items, or plastic material, because again, plastic can melt. So you have two options here. The closest thing at home that you have to a, a, a hot air oven or dry heat is a convection oven. But if you have this convection oven and then you can do what, what they said here in the study, you can toss it into the convection oven and you're going to put it in there. Now you need to preheat this. So it's a total treatment time of 30 minutes at 167 degrees Fahrenheit, but it can't, so you have to warm it up once it's at that temperature, then it's 30 minutes from that time. I would recommend that you put your mask in some kind of glass Pyrex material, so not Tupperware, unless like Tupperware is the brand, but it's glass Pyrex. You put your mask in there and then you just throw it in the in the oven for 30 minutes. And so if you do not have a convection oven, it's okay, I got you. What you're going to do is you're going to boil water and then you're going to steam your mask for 10 minutes. Afterwards, I would still hang it to air dry because after you steam something, it gets a little wet and a little moist. Remember, no more than four times because at the fifth time, it significantly re reduces its efficacy. And do not put your mask in alcohol. Do not spray it lightly with chlorine. Not to mention, I mean, think about the fumes. Chlorine isn't the best thing to be inhaling. It's very toxic. So imagine it's still in your mask and you're inhaling it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And now you know how to sterilize your N95 mask in the best possible manner. Stay safe. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure that you subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. Thank mm -hmm. you.